Bloomberg Weather with meteorologist David Burgett. Some of us in Goodhue County and towards the Twin Cities this morning probably heard a few rumbles of thunder as we had a few stray thunderstorms roll through the region. I don't think dropping too much rainfall because we were pretty dry across the region this morning, but really all of those showers are now moving on off towards the I-94 corridor and just maybe a few sprinkles possibly into northeast Iowa near Mason City this morning, but I do think we're relatively dry, so I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of that rainfall throughout the rest of the morning here. Really, for this morning, we are going to have a lot of cloud coverage towards Lake City, but notice in Austin, Grand Meadow, and Rochester here, we're seeing some pretty much mostly, cle mostly clear to mostly sunny skies this morning. That's allowing us to heat up with some southern winds to about 60 degrees here in Rochester and 66 now in Austin. A little bit warmer there into Goodhue County, but pretty much we're seeing some milder temperatures this morning across the area, and we're going to continue to be seeing warmer temperatures today, but winds Wind speeds and gusts right now. They're going to be out of the south for us, keeping us warmer this morning, along with that sunshine, 18 to 16 miles per hour for our gusts there into Austin and Mason City. And as we go throughout the day today, we're going to continue to see these gusts into the lower 20s here in Rochester, peaking into almost the lower 30s across much of our region along I-94 and a little bit north here into the Med City. So we're going to continue to see breezy conditions before they start to die down later tonight near midnight and in throughout the overnight hours for us across the area. So. We're going to continue today to be monitoring also for a cold front that's going to be stationed northwest of us. What this is going to do, it's going to slide through our region and conditions might be just right in some of our eastern counties there. We could get to see the chance for some stray showers and maybe a stray storm or two in the forecast. That's why the Storm Prediction Center has some of our eastern counties in a level one out of five for severe weather today. If we do see anything that pops up, I do think the severe threat is relatively low for these counties. If anything, some gusty winds and maybe, maybe if conditions are right, maybe some small hail, but I do think the severe threat is really on the lower side. Guiding through the rest of today with future track. Notice we get warm today with these southern winds around 80 miles or 80 degrees here in Rochester. We're going to continue to see these showers pop up here really into western Iowa, western Wisconsin for us. Maybe some of our eastern counties today as that cold front slides through. Notice though we're going to start to dip down a little bit into the lower 50s throughout the overnight hours before bouncing back up to the 70, 60s and then 70s by tomorrow morning and into the afternoon hours for us. But notice we could see some stray showers across the region north of I-90 for tomorrow evening before we get more of these these showers and storms start to roll in through Monday morning here across the area. So that's something to look forward to this week, along with some more showers and storms for isolated scatter conditions on Monday and Tuesday. Stray rain chances return Wednesday and Friday. But on Tuesday, the Storm Prediction Center has us in about 15% confidence we could see some isolated strong storms across our area. Most of that will be pretty much south into central Iowa for us in southern Iowa, heading more into the central plain. So that's something to keep your eye on for Tuesday at least this week. But for this weekend, we're going to see mainly dry conditions across the area. Temperatures, some are like into the 80s. Tomorrow, increasing clouds throughout the morning before some showers return throughout the overnight hours and possible storms on Sunday, uh, Monday morning here for us. So. Pretty much nice conditions, I guess, in terms of temperature-wise, that is, this weekend and through next week. But the thunderstorms in the forecast, Monday and Tuesday, something to look out for. Now, when about those thunderstorms on Monday, a little later in the day, early in the morning? I think more early in the morning right now. We could see some start to kind of regenerate or pop up back in the okay. afternoon hours too. So I'm supposed to check out a strawberry field for National Strawberry uh, Picking Day, so we'll, we'll have to monitor my that fingers closely. fingers are crossed for yes. us. So uh, the rain doesn't dampen your parade. <laughs> I know, but I mean the rain has been helping with all the growing season for these oh, farmers, which oh, is Oh yes, great. in the planting season right now. Maybe so. I'll just take my umbrella with me. <laughs> we'll make do. Right. <laughs> all right, thank you, David.